do we have a sponsor pandemic in this country? I'm not talking about an epidemic, a pandemic. Now, for the people who don't understand what sponsors are, sponsors are older men who pray or maybe go after very younger chicks or young girls. They're not even women yet. Sometimes it could be as young as 18 years old. Mze mzima na kwambia, nandevu zake, kila mahali, ameacha wanawake wakisawa, yuafuata kischana kidogo. Seriously, somebody as young as your daughter. That's the person you decide, this is the one who's going to be my girlfriend. I think we have that kind of a problem. My name is Getrud Mungai and welcome to Getrud Secrets. Today I have a guest, a very, very special guest, you know, I'm almost afraid <laughs> to say the name because his name is Victor, not Mr. Victor. <laughs> Just <laughs> Victor Karibu Sana. Asante sana I told you, you have one of the best names in the universe. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> I mean, what's there not to like about Mr. Victor? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last time um, I saw you, we were in a different forum. Yes. And I remember I was giving a presentation and I was talking about men being very present in their son's life. Because I thought this parenting thing was left to the mother. Mm. The father, yes, he is the provider, but he thinks uh, bringing home the bacon is good enough and it, uh, it will help the kids grow. And I'm thinking, no, we need to be parents, both of us, mother and. Mm -hmm. And I remember you pulled me aside afterwards and you told me how hard it is to be a young single man in Kenya. Very true. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much. Thanks, thanks again for You're giving us, uh, for giving me this opportunity to defend the young man and his ways. The single man? The single man, the exactly. Single man. The young single man. Uh -huh. There's so many challenges the young man is, the young single man is going through currently mm -hmm. that the society is not addressing. Okay. Yes. Number one, mm -hmm. I will begin with a point here. Our fathers have left us to be raised by our mothers. Mm -hmm. There is so many single mothers in mm -hmm. town. Why? Yes. We have runaway fathers. Mm -hmm. That alone takes away as a man i need a father figure in my life Very if true. i don't have that father figure mm -hmm. what happens i i think uh, okay uh, majority of the girls are getting i, I say when children have children because we have very many young mothers and they might not know how to go about it and you remember uh, the last conversation we had i kept saying if you're a single mom and you have a son you need to get a father figure and yes. that father figure should not be your boyfriend mm -hmm. It should be like uh, your father, if you admire your dad. It should be like uh, your brother. Yeah. It should be like an uncle. Yeah. That's what I said. But, okay? but Gertrude, sorry to interrupt. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Look at it this way. Mm -hmm. The society has given so much weight the girl child. The girl child yeah. is educated. A lovely thing. Mm -hmm. I would never want to uh, dispute that. Mm -hmm. A lovely thing. Mm -hmm. She grows up the ladder. Mm -hmm. She goes up there. Mm -hmm. She drives her own car. Mm -hmm. She's in her own house. Mm -hmm. She has a child. Okay. She's raising this child on her own. Mm -hmm. As that lady's child, mm -hmm. who am I growing up to look up to? Your mom. No one. Your mom. As a man, I'm mm -hmm. looking at the man's side. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I look up to my mom. Mm -hmm. Then what happens when it comes to daddy duties mm -hmm. or things I need to do with my father? Mm -hmm. I can't go play football with my mother. Mm -hmm. I can't go watch Gormaya and FC play with my, my mother. <laughs> okay. I need to go with my dad. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So Where are is you, he? Are you trying to say, Victor, that uh, the fact that the father was not present is actually has major effects in your life right now? Exactly. That is what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll give you an example. Currently, as a man, when you're growing up, at the age of 15, mm -hmm. you're detached from your father. Mm -hmm. You don't have him in your family. Mm -hmm. So you grow yourself up. Mm -hmm. Then look at it. You work so hard. Mm -hmm. The people you look up to are the people on TV, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You get there, mm -hmm. then you start, uh, you probably go to uni. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't even get to finish your uni. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about it. Mm -hmm. the, the, what you get is, mm -hmm. the ladies, the people you meet are out, out, outside here mm -hmm. are the ladies who are educated because someone mentored them. Okay. And they are in that position. Mm -hmm. You strike conversation with them, mm -hmm. but it can't go beyond you having a relationship with them. Uh -huh. It could just be physical. Okay. Because that they need it. They mm. can't deny they need. They don't mm. need the physical interaction. Okay. Uh, le let's see. If you you're, you're young right now, you're not married. You don't have a son. I'm assuming. Don't Is assume. <laughs> Stop assuming. 
That's a very wrong okay, assumption. Okay, fine. If you were to do it differently, what would you do? This is what I would do. Mm -hmm. I would wish to have a situation where mm -hmm. our fathers mm -hmm. are not some young girl's sponsor, but a young man's mentor. Okay, maybe you need to clarify who the sponsor is too. Because to me, as a TV personality, a sponsor is the person uh, pumping in money for this show to be aired. Now, a sponsor mm -hmm. is a runaway father, or he probably has a family. Then okay. he has a side, what do you call them? Pankwakando? Exactly. Okay, call them Virukanjia, Vibiritingoma. Exactly. Any, any young girl yes. who interferes with another woman's marriage, they don't want to be married. Most of them, they don't want to be married. They just want the good times. Yeah, those are Virukanjias, Vibiritingomas. No, get through. These people want to be married. Mm. Thing is, mm. the way the society has set it up yes. is that that guy who is funding her, mm. she's living a good life. That okay. is what the society is seeing. Okay. She's li and she's encouraged by her family, her friends. Really? We're, we're in do, the you layer really, layer. Uh, do you really think families, Victor, would... Uh, like, as a mother, do you think I would want my daughter to have a dose with an older married man just because of money? I'll give you the I challenge. I don't think the families support I'll, that. I'll, I'll give you the challenge. Uh -huh. she, drive, she comes home driving a Range Rover and she oh. tells you, Mom, I'm taking you shopping to Italy. Are you going to say, no, where did you get the money from? Mm, so you think some mothers encourage that? I don't think. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, are you being a little bit harder on the women? Now, I, I want to throw the challenge, yeah? Mm -hmm. This this is what happens, and yes. this, this is uh, where the sponsors and us are coming in. Mm -hmm. The woman I am supposed to be hanging out with, Okay. people are saying th the current, uh, the contemporary young man mm -hmm. in his 30s mm -hmm. is not a, ma a marriage material. Uh -huh. Reason is, mm. the woman I am supposed to be courting for marriage mm -hmm. is the one the sponsor is... Having a dose Hanging with. out with. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. He drives a Range Rover. I am probably in my first job or mm -hmm. on my first job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am on a salary where I live in a one bedroom apartment. Okay. I am just starting my life. Uh huh. She looks at what I offer mm -hmm. and what that guy is offering. Mm -hmm. Can we match? Okay. I, I don't think all women, all young women are like that. Okay. Gertrude, can I ask you a question? Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you believe women like winners? Winners? Yes. Yeah. A man who is a winner? Yeah. When a sponsor walks in here or drives a Range Rover in here, mm -hmm. and then I'm dropped by my Nduthi guy here, <laughs> who, who, is, who is the woman going to be looking at? L okay. Uh, a winner doesn't just... It's not just about the money. Let us start That's from that point. No, that okay. guy hasn't yeah, shown any money. He just arrived. Like, he okay. just arrived. He hasn't okay. shown any money. It will depend on the girl's school of thought. I'll put it that way. You understand? Okay, uh, where I am, uh, having been married for 18 years, even when I was younger, yes, I know I made a lot of mistakes, but really, I don't think that would, because of the way I was brought up. Yes. I wouldn't have gone for somebody's husband. I wouldn't have gone for somebody with more money. In fact, to me, the more money, I thought the more problems you'd have exactly around that time. And I do agree with you, though. There are young, a few, not all of them. So, Victor, there's hope for you. There are a few women who would go for somebody with more money and... Gertrude is not about the money. Mm -hmm. In the end, these ladies, they're mm -hmm. not even, they, they don't get married to these guys. Most of the time, yes. They do not get married. Mm -hmm. In the end, they end up single mothers, mm -hmm. which brings about the whole cycle it again. It starts all over again. It starts all okay, over again. Because so he has his family. Exactly. He uh -huh. will always go back to his family. Mm -hmm. So my point was, mm -hmm. can we have our fathers mentor us? Oh, By okay. our fathers, I mean, the senior guys at our workplaces, mm -hmm. I mean, our uh, uncles, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a senior somebody in the society. Mm -hmm. When you're interacting with me, mm -hmm. get to know my whereabouts, mm -hmm. my welfare. Mm -hmm. People are asking why we are not marrying material or marriage material. Mm -hmm. Is because sometimes we don't even know what that marriage entails. Okay. Because I've been raised by a single mom all through. Mm -hmm. I don't need to put effort. Mm -hmm. Let me get my money, go party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when I'm partying out there, there's a lot of fun. I trust I, me. I agree. I agree with the fact that uh, the older men, I'm, I'm sure you're watching, the older men, instead of going after the younger women who should be Akina Victor's wives, you should mentor Victor instead. Is that what you said? So he can be a married. I'll take care of the Mombasa Raha business. I'll spice you up. When the time is right, you don't have to go there. When the time is right, but for all the older men, wacheni na wasiana wadogo wadogo, mze mzima kitumo kimefika hapa, familie konyumani.
<laughs> no, I, I, again, I, I would tell them, mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. just make sure what you do to their life mm -hmm. is impact, impacting positively. Okay. The, if I, do you know what, Gertrude? Mm -hmm. I would be the happiest man if I was married to a girl who is educated mm -hmm. and has proper family values. Okay. Let those men be father figures to, to the, the girls. ladies. Not boyfriends. Don't be their boyfriends. We should be their boyfriends. Mm -hmm. You're men. Mm -hmm. Look for women and have your women I, friend thing going on. Do you know, I totally agree with you. There are so many. If you're a, a, a man uh, and you're 57 uh, years old, you'll always get a woman to marry, whether it's 27, 37, or 47. But if you're uh, a woman who is 57, it's very hard for you to get a man. Because there's no way a man of 47. If you marry a man of 47, you're in trouble. Can I flip this again? Mm -hmm. The woman who is 57 mm -hmm. now has been left at home alone mm. because the husband who is 60 is running around with my girlfriend. She is coming to pay me to hang out with her. Mm -hmm. What is happening? Okay, society has gone bad. Exactly. Okay. We need to get back w w and just sit down mm -hmm. as, as a society mm -hmm. and understand where did the rain start beating us? Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, I'm bringing the question to you. Uh, if you're to do it all over again, uh, and talk to the older men who are watching right now, if you're to do it all over again, how would you do it differently? How would I do it differently? Mm -hmm. Currently, uh, I am looking at a program. Mm -hmm. We are about to start a program mm -hmm. where we have men in the society. Mm -hmm. We willingly mm -hmm. we want them to come on board. Mm -hmm. The successful man in okay. the society. And Even successful the one who to is you is it career wise or family wise? Because those are two different this, things. This one we wanted to cut across. Okay. When you're successful in your career, mm -hmm. your family. There's no man who is successful that doesn't ha have a woman behind. Every successful man. Wow, that's very strong behind coming from a, a young man. Yes, mm -hmm. behind every successful man, mm -hmm. there is a woman. I hope you hear that, Pete. That is very true. Okay. I, you cannot. <laughs> Look at all the successful men around. Mm -hmm. I can mention them. Mm -hmm. There is always going to be a woman. A successful Let's start woman. with our president. Okay. Look at uh, Honorable Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's always there to support the wife as well. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're looking for uh, men who are successful career-wise? Exactly. And they have good families? Yes. Okay. Y you, you don't have to have a good family. You may have seen where you went wrong okay. and you want to really come back. This is your platform to come and mentor other people. Okay. But the, the aim is to mentor younger people. We want, your yes. Kind. Yes. It doesn't okay. have to be... Uh, 30 year, 35 year olds, mm -hmm. but we could start mentoring them at the age of 16, 17. Can we have That's programs? Social. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we have programs where mm -hmm. we monitor or we help these guys monitor themselves, mm -hmm. help them, mm -hmm. give them career advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell them this is what you do as a man in a family. Mm -hmm. Let us not be, because the society now, mm -hmm. you remember what I was telling you, mm -hmm. the 57 year old woman has yeah. come back mm -hmm. to look for the young man. Yes. That she, yeah. She's yeah. not getting any attention from uh, either the husband yeah. or there's nobody to marry her. Exactly. So mm -hmm. people think we're lazy when we are not. Mm -hmm. yeah? If someone told us, as a, you need to be reminded every other day. Mm -hmm. we, men, we have very short span memories. Okay. You need to be reminded you're the provider of the home. If that bell is rung in I your can head tell every you day. A different kind of worms. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I hear you. I know of a number of programs which do that. I personally am in one of those programs where I have a mentor and a mentoring younger woman. Uh, when I say a mentor, I have an older woman in my life and I'm working with younger women. So at least we make sure this marriage thing works and it's enjoyable because I do believe marriage is not supposed to be enjoyed. It's supposed to be enjoyed. And I've been blaming men for a very long time, but you've given me a different view. And um, so... Is there something coming up? Yes. You're the, planning the, to have I'm one you, of those you, you, Yes, you just mentioned you, 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 uh, you're you working with uh, families already. Yeah. Or there's, you have a program. In, maybe we could partner and bring you can, back... You can do men, I can do women. Y okay, no, no, you can no, mentor. No, 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 Get with secrets, what do you expect? You just never. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I, I totally to agree, say. totally agree, and I am going to make sure you do that, because I've been doing it for a while, and I wanted somebody with experience, you know, especially for the younger men. You understand? To get older men, I think it's easy. Uh, as much as we've had this topic and we've discussed about everything, I know there are so many 
good men out there who are already doing this. Gertrude, I can confirm, I sit in a circle of young single men mm -hmm. who are very focused, mm -hmm. and this, this is something we're doing with them. We really want to push for the man who is successful up there, mm -hmm. career-wise, mm -hmm. in a family, mm -hmm. to see the sense in this, mm -hmm. to come and just help us. We will not be asking for any financial uh, support, mm -hmm. no. We need you to come with your wisdom. Uh -huh. That is all the young man needs today. Okay, maybe you can talk to the few sponsors who are also watching us. <laughs> they have daughters at home, remember, and you're going after somebody's daughter. Please talk to them. Now, to the sponsors, as Team Mafisi, we are coming in a different <laughs> package. You had to go there. <laughs> <laughs> we uh -huh. are coming in a different package. Mm -hmm. And remember, what happens now, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, it could bite you later on. You could have a daughter. Unfortunately. Yes, that when I am 40 years old or mm -hmm. 50 years old, mm -hmm. could be my sponsee. Mm -hmm. Yes, so <laughs> look, you, you look at it that way, then you know <laughs> it's a catch-22. Uh -huh. Yeah, your time is almost uh, running out. And young ladies, I mean, what, what do you have to say to the young ladies who maybe don't understand, they fall under, they, I don't know, because um, um, sometimes maybe they made a mistake, they didn't realize what they're getting themselves into. What, as a young man, you know, okay, before you, I ask the question of who is your ideal young woman to be a wife, just talk to the ladies as much as you talk to the sponsors. Because I believe they're not forced, they're not drugged, they're not uh, pingu to be with the sponsor. They do it willingly. Gertrude, today I didn't want to talk to the ladies. The reason is mm -hmm. they're easily going to the sponsors because we, the young men, mm -hmm. are not there for them. Okay, and so you're taking responsibility we, for that. We have to take responsibility. That's Thank a fact. You. That, mm -hmm. is that is the gap we are looking to fill. Okay. When we have men who are ready mm -hmm. in the market, mm -hmm. then we will get them from the sponsors. That mm -hmm. is why I'm putting the sponsors on notice today. So you did you say you're Tim Mafisi? Uh, no, the Mafisi. sponsors are Tim Mafisi. No, no, no. We are the Tim Mafisi because <laughs> Mafisi is only for the younger people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so sir, thank sponsors. you so much, Victor. Yes. Uh, one last question. Who is your ideal young woman to be a wife? My ideal you young a woman to Do be you have a, a wife. List? A list of, you want me to have a name? Just, uh, if there's a young lady, uh, maybe who's a bit confused, or maybe looking, mm, which is looking sharp today. I, uh, not that I'm marketing for you, yes. if that happens. Get and I have a girlfriend. What is this you're trying? She's so <laughs> going to kill me after this time. She's going to kill me. Uh, my apology. But just for the heck of it, who is your ideal kind of a wife? My ideal kind of Speaking wife. Speaking on behalf of the rest of the young women. Of the rest young of the young men. men. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she doesn't appear on TV. Mm -hmm. You will not meet her at the clubs. She doesn't appear on TV? Yes. She, you will not meet her at the club? You know, mm -hmm. she, she, is, she has proper family values. Proper family values? Yes. Uh, she values family. Okay. She'd rather come home and spend time with me and the kids mm -hmm. than go out and hang out with her girls. Mm -hmm. That is my ideal young woman. Okay. Yes. Wow, that's simple. There very are so many. Very there are very many out there, I think. Yes, oh, and she doesn't have to wear a weave. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding I, me? I know I am you dead after this. <laughs> when I introduced him, I told you he's a Mr. Victor. He's thinking like one, a Mr. Victor. Thank you for coming. Thanks a lot, Gedrin. I, I hope I'll, you'll See have you me. See you next time. All right, I will be on the show. Every month, I'll make sure you come. <laughs> talking about different issues. Asante you have Sarah a lot Gedrin. of wisdom yes. at your young age. Asante. Thank you. I really appreciate Asante it. Asante Thank you for the time. <laughs> like I said, in this show, you can only get secrets. Shh. It's, it's a secret. secret. Like I said, uh, we have to go to Mombasa Ra first class. And there are these three positions I know. I have been belazed people to demonstrating by hey, without me showing you what you're supposed to do, what, how do you know what you're not supposed to do? So let's start with Nyambura. Nyambura is a position, izikwe katika kaburi ya sahau. Missionary brought this and they left, why are you still doing it? So, this is a no-no from now onwards. It's you're going to Mobasara like this. Are you kidding me? And then on top of that, you're killing mosquitoes, or this the time you realize, oh, the roof is leaking. Let your hands do the walking. Go touch over here. Bring it up, touch over there. Help him go up and down. Your fingers have to do the walking. All the talking. Got it? The other position is warrior. You know, ladies, sana. when you don't want to go to Mombasara, you pretend you're sleepy and you go to bed early. Mm -hmm. So, you go position yourself on your side. I hear every couple, they have their position. This side is for the wife, this side is. So you go take your corner. And then you leave him at the sitting room. 
you pretend to be asleep. When he comes, he realizes you're sleeping, he comes poking you with his Mr. Victor. You move. After a few minutes, you realize he moved with you, he's poking you again, you move again. Now you realize if you move any further, you're going to fall off the, the bed. So what you do, you raise up your leg like this. How is he even supposed to do anything? Woye, burn, dead, bury it in Kaburi Asahawu. The worst position. I don't know. Many men are obsessed with doggy style. Now, women, most women don't like. I didn't like doggy style for a very long time. Simply because I was in a coil. You understand? And uh, I used to feel like uh, it's either poking him or it's poking me. I wasn't really comfortable. So, doggy style or kuchunamboga, that's the position. I call it kuchunamboga, is not my favorite style. But men, most men do. So, every time I'm asked which is the best way to do, to go to Mombasaraha, uh, kuchunamboga or doggy style. So, I have showed you, if you have to go to doggy style, you need to do doggy style or kuchunamboga. Don't waste your time and give him rabbit. So, we have burnt nyambura, we have burnt woye, and we are burning rabbit. This is rabbit. You understand? If you're going to Mombasaraha from behind, it's still, still through Miss Victoria, this is rabbit. Seriously, what is supposed to happen? Look at the supporting documents. Where are they inside? They're supposed to be up there. So if you have to go Mombasaraha, Kuchunamboga, Kamata position nicely, this dip has to be there. Bend. You see, not this. No, never bury Sahau. This. Up. And you know so many things you can do when in that position. You can shake it up in the air. Next time, maybe I'll be allowed to sh do the shaking. But for the meantime, this is the difference between this and that. Shh. Yes, 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 yes. I want to give you tips on how to give a hand job. A hand job is necessary. Sometimes you've got to let Miss Victoria rest. I just because you have Miss Victoria, unam to me, unam overuse. Paka sengiro nam lazimisha na meboeka mechoka. Mpimie dada. Mpokonye kidogo, apate kutamani. But then do you know, if we don't go to, to Mombasaraha all the time, our bodies naturally have a crave for, mis for, for going to Mombasaraha. Sometimes we do it because we can. Just give it in small doses and give fancy. To me, where I am right now, it's either over the top or nothing. And I'm okay with nothing. Knowing the next time it comes, ni ile inakufanyisha paka unaongea kikwenu. So, wewe kama unatoka ukambani, it's okay to say, ati, ati, ati. <laughs> Okay, kama unatoka wapi mijikenda, okay, I don't want to be short at this, after this I need to go home <laughs> in peace, but the rest of the people is coming. So, the secret of a hand job, number one, is soft hands, and many times because we use harsh products for washing dishes, maybe spices for marinating, our hands are kind of hard, so the easiest way to have soft hands is to put sugar and baby oil massage and rub for about five minutes and then wash with warm water soft hands instantly and the other thing is lubrication i have all sorts of lubrication because to me lubrication is a part of my love making and i have so much fun using the lubricants i have a clitoral stimulating gel embrace tightening gel a warming lube all sorts of flavored and we have a g-spot stimulating gel we have tightening gels there all sorts of gel just have fun you can use them all at the same time but depending on what is happening have fun so soft hands and you have your lubricant you. now step one is to get him wet okay when he's, he's all wet up because remember hands are not like miss victoria miss victoria is warm is cuddly is tight and it's wet hands ha, dry so okay if he's giving you a face like this just know that he's not having fun but he's giving, he's giving you a face like mm, no he's having fun so watch him see what normally happens so the first step is to get wet now even if he has a muhogo muhogo he needs to have a rock hard direction. 